So in this video, you are going to learn about the transformation of parent functions. So in mathematics, when we say transformation, we means change. So the parent function is the most basic form of a function. So let's talk about the most basic form of uh, these six examples of functions. So when you say linear, the most basic form of linear is f of x equals to x, okay? So that's the most basic form. The, for absolute value, we denote it by the absolute value symbol. So the absolute value will be absolute value of x. So that will be the most basic form of absolute value. Quadratic is distinguished by the uh, exponent of 2. So the parent function for quadratic will be s square. So, and for this square root, we can, uh, we can we use the square root symbol to denote the square root function. So the basic form of square root will be the square root of x. And cubic, cubic is the exponent of 3, okay? So the parent function will be s raised to the power of 3. And for cube root, so we denote that with the cube root symbol, okay? So the parent function for cube root will be the cube root of x, okay? So if we want to now represent the transformation of functions in the general form, so we want to see when you change that parent function, which is our f of x, and you now include the parameters a, b, h, and k. How will these parameters change our original function? So I've already included a description here. So please look at it, and I will give you like a few minutes to read. You can pause the video and read through the description. So what I want you to quickly remember is the a and the k, the, these two parameters, a and k, they are both, uh, these parameters, a and k, okay, they are outside of what makes that function to be unique. You can see that this is f of x, f of, in this case, f of b of x minus h. So a and, I mean, k and a, they are outside of this f of b x minus h. So the have a vertical change on the function. So what I mean by vertical change is it will cause like vertical reflection, stretch, or compression, depending on this criteria. Uh, whereas k, k will cause the function to move. So we call it a vertical translation. So to move up and down. So now for b and h, so again, for b and h, they are inside what makes that function unique. Okay, so they are horizontal changes. So B, we cause like uh, a reflection across the Y, that is across the horizontal axis. And then B of X, I mean, the B will cause horizontal stretch or compression depending on the value of B. So whereas for H, if the equation is negative, it's going to move to the right. If it is positive, it's going to move to the left. So again, H is called a horizontal translation to the left or to the right. Okay, so now to some examples. So for the G of X, we are asked to provide the parent function for each of these questions and, the and, and describe the transformation. So the parent function for this is the basic form again. So this is going to be a quadratic. So the transformation, it's only one transformation. So that is being subtracted from the parent function. So this is going to move down by one, okay? So for question number two, the parent function for number two is the absolute value of x, okay? And the transformation, I think I see three, this two, x minus one, and this three, okay? So two tells us it's outside and it is, it is positive, it is greater than one, so that is a vertical stretch okay by a factor of two and the x minus one is going to cause it to move right by one okay right by one and the plus three will cause it to move up 
by three points. Okay. So for number three, I see uh, how many changes? We can see one, two, three changes. So the parent function is cubic because of that x raised to the power of three. Okay. So here we see, so here our a is negative. So that tells us that this is going to be a flip across the x. Okay. So it's going to be a reflection, reflection across x. Across x axis. Okay. And then the x minus 4, we cause it to move to the right by 4 points, okay? And 5, we cause it to move up by uh, 5, okay? Up by 5. So for number 4, I want you to pause the video and see if you can do the number 4 on your own. And then you can compare your answer to mine later. So pause the video. So now let's give the answer to question number 4. So the parent function will be, of course, this is quadratic, so s square, And so this is negative 2 outside this s raised to the power of 2. So that's a. So our a is both negative and also 2. So negative will cause a flip across the x-axis. So that's a reflection. So we see a reflection across x, okay, across the x-axis. And then we see a vertical stretch by two, vertical stretch, okay, by two. Then S minus one, S minus one is going to move its left by one. And the negative five is going to move it down by five, okay? So, Example five now. So example five is given to us. So we are just asked to describe the transformation of this uh, cubic relative to the parent function. So let's start at I as um, I want you to start at the um, negative two. So we know that that negative two is going to move it down by two. So let's look at the options. So this is up by two. 3 all by 2. So we know that C and D cannot be our answer. So this 2 say you need 2 down. So it could be any of them. So let's go to the S minus 3 inside. So that one, we know that this is this will move opposite the sign. So this is going to move to the left by 3. So this is right. 3 units right. So that's wrong. So in this case, B is our answer. And in case you are still wondering, yes, that 1 over 4 is going to be a vertical compression. So, yeah. So, this example, so you are given a y and you are now asked, what is the new equation if this y is translated four units up? So, to be able to translate any function by a unit, you have to add that to up, you have to add four to it. So, now our new function is going to be y equals to 9x plus four plus another four. So, that's going to be eight. So, in this case, F is the answer. So this is another example. So you are given a function F and a function G. Please read the story, okay? A function F, the only difference is that G has 500 more than X, okay? So but we know that that is going to be, so G is going to be up by 500, okay? Up by 500. So that means, so what does this mean? The airplane starts its descent from an altitude 500 feet higher. So the change will mean that the airplane starts its descent from an altitude 500 higher. So that's it, because it is up by 500. So it cannot be this, it cannot be this, it cannot be this. It cannot be this. So again, the solution here is F. Thank you.